All right, friends, this is Spa Guy. And what we've got today is a cow spa that has a real slow leak. It's got two. I want to show you two different things. One is the light lens. If you see, this lens is actually cracked. You see all these little cracks around. And they will actually get cracked. This is another lens from another tub. You can see that this one's cracked up in here. So it was actually leaking. Water was coming through the bottom of the lens right there. So I'm gonna show you how to replace this lens if you'll stay tuned. All right, friends, so on this cow spa, I showed you before that the lens was broken, it was cracked, and we're gonna replace it with the brand new lens. This is what we call a five inch lens. And this thing has actually been trimmed out before. You can see where this hole used to be here, but it's actually offset. So somebody must have replaced that light lens at one time before, or they dug in here to do something. It doesn't look like it's been disturbed. So I am gonna pull it out. And this thing has actually been changed over to an LED light as well. It's like a single LED. Or actually, this thing, I'm telling you wrong, it's got an LED system in it. It's got the silver box. So what I use is oil filter pliers. I'm going to open those pliers up, and we're going to turn this nut off. It's got a lot of foam around it. I may have to break the foam out before we can even start turning this. Looks like I'm going to have to do that. So let's see here. Yep, so stay tuned. I'm gonna pop this foam out. I'm gonna clean it out around it and then we'll we'll give it another shot. Stay tuned, friends. All right, so one of the things that I'm gonna do so I don't chip all the foam off is just take a knife and just kind of go around the edge and just kind of trim it out just a little bit. That way, when you chip it, that's all that breaks off. And most tubs, you're not gonna have to do this. This is, uh, the, this particular tub is an exception, but most tubs, that's not gonna be an issue but we're gonna break this out. And uh, so all you do is just take a flat screwdriver after you cut it and you can just kind of pop it off around like that to make some room. So there you are, friends. So now I'm gonna take my, my pliers and I'm gonna break this thing loose. You see, without the foam in place, it'll turn right off. Now the next issue is going to be the lens will try to turn. If you pull it some out pressure on it, that'll slow it down. But the other thing you can do is just put your hand or put a, uh, sometimes I'll put a flat screwdriver. There's a little, little uh, indentation right here where the, the back cover snaps on. And you can put a flat screwdriver or something in there. Now where I can do it with my hand. And some are gonna be smothered with uh, silicone. The ones that have silicone all the way around it, you'll take your knife and cut those things loose all the way around, just kind of break it loose. But you can see I can push this and push the lens out. Reach up here. And there is the lens right there, and you can see that it's got a lot of cracks in it. I'll pull the, the back off. So those cracks eventually, sometimes you'll even see them where they, this part stays in, this part breaks off, and it'll leak right around the edge. So I'm gonna clean this up and get it prepared. Stay tuned, friends. So what I'm gonna do right here is just clean it, wipe it off. Get all the trash out of the way, make sure it's a nice smooth surface, and this is. On the back, I cleaned it up and got all the stuff out of the way. I'm gonna use my vac and pull all that stuff out. So we're gonna stick the, the new lens through. So I used the vac to clean all the trash out right here. Get it all nice and clean. So if you notice right here, I've got a gasket on here. I leave my gasket on. The biggest deal is not to allow the silicone to come through the hole and get on the gasket. If you do, it will squirt the gasket out. When you tighten it, it'll do that. So we gotta make sure that we're dry right here, and we are. So I'm gonna just slip this through. That is in, in place right there like it should be. All right, so now I'm gonna seal the back of it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my silicone And the biggest thing is you're lucky when you do an old one, there's usually enough silicone around the hole to keep the silicone from going through and getting on the gasket. But just try not to let it get through. If you just drilled a hole, 
and the hole slightly big, that's going to be a problem. The other thing I'll do is just put me a little ring around here just for for ha ha's. All right. So now I am going to turn it on with my hand. And some are, you have to get somebody to assist you, but some of them are like this one where you can actually just reach around and hold the lens if it tried to turn on you, which they're going to turn a little bit. But sometimes you can also just put your hand right here, tighten it up by hand. Like that. And then take your oil filter pliers, which is what I use, and snug it the rest of the way. Pull that, let it pull that gasket in nice and tight. There she is. All right, the only other thing I would do is take a little extra silicone, go around the outside edge. Load you a little extra up. And take a side edge right there so inspect this side right here make sure that the gasket's not pushed out and I can feel it it's not pushed out it actually looks good it's nice and tight it's nice and flat that is a properly installed lamp right there light lens so now you can actually fill it right up because this gasket on this side so you don't have to wait for the silicone to dry put you some water in last but not least put your uh, back cover back in and it snaps in here it snaps in there and boom it's in all right so it is sealed up nice and i don't know much but i do know hot tubs if you need one of these five inch light lenses if you'll click this uh banner across the top of this video it'll take you to our website where the five inch light lens is by today we're hot tub parts of america i'm the spa guy